One of the biggest stories going on in the YouTube community right now and for the last few months is T-Series taking over YouTube, but are they ruining the platform? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So real quick update, uh, a lot of you who are my loyal, amazing, beautiful subscribers, you know that I am working on a new book called Rewire Your Anger and the outline is done. So right after this, I'm going to go and start knocking out some chapters. It should hopefully be out by the end of this week. So make sure your notifications, you're following me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll be letting you know as soon as that thing's out. All right, but anyways, let's talk about T-Series real quick and their rise and some of the stuff going on in YouTube. So I actually did an interview yesterday for um, a Business Insider magazine, which should be coming out in January. And they were interviewing me about YouTuber mental health. And I got the idea like, man, I need to write a book about YouTuber mental health because we talked about a lot of great, great stuff. And right now, like this thing going on with T-Series as well as some other stuff going on in the community, like we need to talk about this, all right? Because people are losing their minds, okay? So I might do some other videos just um, about PewDiePie and some other things, but let's focus on T-Series and them taking over the platform as the biggest you know, channel out there. So those of you who don't know, T-Series is, uh, they're like, they do like music and movies over in India. And they've been around for a long time and now they're exploding on YouTube and they're about to pass PewDiePie. If you want more information on this and the storyline behind it, go check out my friend's channel, uh, Crimson Studios. Like they are doing awesome stuff. They've made like three or four videos about this and the back and forth with PewDiePie and everything. And like, if you want to learn more about the situation, go check out theirs, right? Far before Felix and many of the major YouTubers we see today. In fact, the story of T-Series is far different than that of your standard creator. You see, T-Series isn't a person, a place, but a thing. A corporate entity, which according to an article by Digitpin actually dates back to the early 1980s. A simpler time with smarter people and footloose. So, but I want to talk about is a few things in regards to, you know, um, focusing on the problem or focusing on the solution. I want to talk about this thing called locus of control because here's the thing. So, Something I've often talked about when it comes to YouTubers is locus of control. So locus of control, there's either internal or external locus of control, all right? So an external locus of control is your mind. In your mind, you believe that you have little to no control over the outcomes in your life, okay? Now, what they've discovered is that this can increase depression as well as anxiety. Like something that helps us stay in a good positive mental state is feeling in control. So people who have an internal locus of control, they have a much better mind state because they feel that their actions create certain outcomes or they have they influence certain outcomes now this doesn't mean like you think that you can control the universe and the weather and everything but it's about taking responsibility okay so it's knowing that if i work hard i can achieve this right if i work on my mental health i can achieve this so let's talk about mental health real quick so an example of external locus of control is i can't be mentally well until my mom or until my dad approves of me, all right? So you have an external locus of control. Somebody with an internal locus of control thinks, I cannot change my mom or dad, but I can work on myself to learn how to deal with my mom and dad better. All right, you see those two different things? So this is something that a lot of YouTubers struggle with. A lot of YouTubers complain about the platform and the ads and the uh, demonetization and corporations taking over. So this has been going on for a while, since before T-Series. I've seen a lot of creators upset, you know, that like the late night shows are coming over to YouTube. Um, Will Smith and some other celebrities are making channels on YouTube. And I just made a video about this when I talked about my jealousy of Spill. Um, and, and like what people are neglecting to realize is that like YouTube is an abundant resource, all right? Like here's the thing. So last night Tristan and I were watching YouTube and we were having conversations about T-Series and everything. And Tristan and I were just watching some of our favorite YouTubers, some vlogs and people just sitting in their room talking or just different creators who are funny and everything. Like you guys, you need to understand like 
That is never going away. Like th there is no corporation out there that can take that away from YouTube. It is impossible, all right? Like if people wanna watch like big, like high production things or celebrities or whatever, they can. But a lot of people come to YouTube for that kind of personal connection and talking to those people. Like the beauty of the internet today is that there is not much of a barrier between me and you, between the creator and the audience, all right? But like, do you think that if you go comment on this uh, on the on Steve Colbert's like YouTube channel, he's gonna reply to you, or John Oliver, or if you go comment on T Series, they're gonna reply to you? Chances are that they're not, all right? So that is something that they're not gonna take away from you. But one of the biggest issues is that so many YouTubers are focusing on the problem rather than the solution. And it's a it's a really messed up mindset. So now I get it, and this is something that I'm not gonna touch on when it comes to like ad revenue and the money and everything, but let's talk about audience, okay? Let's talk about audience size, audience growth, and everything. Like it really bums me out because this is something that I have to work on too. When I see YouTubers with like millions upon millions upon millions of subscribers complaining about these corporations coming into YouTube, and they're saying that YouTube promotes the bigger, um, like, you know, production companies more than regular YouTubers. And like, here's the bummer about that. They're worried about growing and reaching a new audience and not focusing on the audience that they have. And like I said, I'm guilty of this too. This, this sometimes influences the content that I make or the video topics I decide to touch on. Like I sit there and I'm like, okay, do I want this video to get new subscribers or do I want this video to, you know, um, focus on the audience that I currently have, right? And it's constantly this balance. Obviously we all wanna grow, we wanna get bigger, but like we need to remember like we have an audience. Like listen, listen, all of you big YouTubers out there with millions of subscribers, Nobody is taking that away from you, okay? You, T-Series isn't going to pop up on somebody's recommended and they're gonna like, okay, well, I'm gonna unsubscribe to you and subscribe to T-Series. That is not how this thing works. So what I'm getting at is like, this is why I say we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. What can you do? Something that you can do as a creator is focus on your current audience, okay? Do the thing like where you, where you build like a word of mouth, connect with people, have these people refer your channel to friends and family. Like it warms my heart when you, my audience says, I, I, I showed my husband or wife your channel, I showed my friends your channel, I showed my parents your channel. Like that is awesome. That is something that I can somewhat control by making good content and connecting with you. So no matter how much the YouTube algorithm doesn't recommend me on occasions, you are recommending me. Does that make sense? Because you also see a lot of YouTubers talking about, you know, the YouTube platform not notif uh, notifying people and all of that. And I get it, that sucks. But a lot of them are focusing on the problem. Me, I focus on the solution. So for those of you who don't know, we have a Facebook group. We have a Discord server. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. Everywhere that I am, you know, okay? You know when a new video gets posted. I remember the other night in the Discord server, I posted my new video and somebody said, thank God I'm in Discord because the YouTube notifications aren't working, right? So as a creator, what can you do to encourage your audience to be more connected to you so they're properly notified when new videos come out? You know what I mean? So like, as far as like T-Series and other companies coming in, like everybody just calm down. We adapt, we change. There are certain things that will never, ever be taken away from you. I made a video a couple weeks ago about how Keemstar is the reason for my success. And it's because Keemstar was saying, nothing new can be created, you, um, everything's already been saturated, da 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 da, right? If you're in that mindset, you are in an external locus of control. Quit thinking about the problems, quit thinking about the things that you cannot control, and focus on what you can control. So as far as T-Series, come on in. CBS, ABC, come on in. CNN, come on in. All these big news places, come on in, because you are not taking away my audience because you are not doing what I'm doing. So like, I know this was mainly focused on YouTubers and creators, but I really want you to think about this internal versus external locus of control when it comes to what you do in your own life. Like, how much control do you have over your job? How much control do you have over, you know, the things you buy? How much control do you have over how much 
you work on your mental health. Like one of the chapters in the um, Rewire Your Anger book that I'm writing is that it's a lot easier for you to fix you than it is to try to fix the rest of the world. We waste so much time and energy, like mental capacity, focusing on things that we have absolutely no control over. All right, when you start focusing on the things that you can control, I guarantee your life will get a whole lot better in no matter what you're doing. All right, so I hope this video helped you out. If any YouTubers are watching this, I hope this gave you a little like encouragement and motivation to get out of the problem and focus on the solution, focus on your current audience, all right? Because let me tell you this, things are gonna be okay. All right, but again, um, go check out my buddies over at Crimson Studios if you wanna learn more about the T-Series situation. We are going to collab. I'm gonna do a couple more topics on this. But anyways, go check them out. And let me know down in the comments below, do you feel that you have more of an internal ex uh, locus of control or external locus of control? All right, let's talk in the comments down below. But that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And over on Patreon, there is exclusive content and a Q&A coming up very soon. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what it's gonna be like. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.